So let's start with the long form videos. I actually emptied out my phone storage tonight. And uh, yeah, you know, the copying took like two hours. So I went to bed and had the, had the computer copying in the background and it was so annoying. Like the whole bedroom was light, light like day, you know, bright and everything. But yeah, now I have space, which is great. So let's have a look at this one. Yeah, this is a Uwe Kahler hybrid. One of my favorites of him. The plant is a little bit crooked because I repotted it and it didn't really uh, deal with the weight very well. So I might have to reposition it after the flowering. I don't I try not to change anything right now. Couple day a couple years ago this plant opened with two with four flowers simultaneously, four or five, and it looked absolutely incredible. This plant is much more beautiful than it looks right now. I mean it's it's early in the morning. I'm sure the flowers will open more nicely later and I might even take another video simply because that's a, such a beautiful plant. So let's have a look at the label. So the tag is Grüner Orange. Now Gräser's Schönste. Gräser's Schönste, Legon, Bindebar and Flying Saucer. KA11, KA11, <laughs> K -A -Elf. that was German. KA11. 65 no 5601 i'm a little bit it's a little bit early guys so yeah absolute gorgeous flower body is interesting too looks a little bit different than the classic uh, cantora hybrids you know here's cantora something like that and here's this one Looks a little bit like Grandiflorus, like actual Grandi Grandiflorus, not the stuff that gets that gets misidentified as Grandiflorus all the time. But yeah, I like this one. I will definitely pollinate one of those with with a Wurlitz hybrid. The other one, haven't decided yet. You know, there's so many options, and it doesn't make it like easier right now. Um, Unsure if I want to go with fresh pollen or from the fridge. So we'll see. Okay, guys. Yeah, got to move on. I want to start collecting pollen so I can uh, store it and make a few more crosses later, like in a few weeks or so. The pollen stays fresh in the freezer for, I don't know, a year if it's, if it's stored completely dry. I only keep the pollen dust and I brush it into little paper bags and yeah that stays fresh for quite some time okay guys yeah thank you for tuning in appreciate it um, you can support the channel at patreon.com slash cactus jerk and uh, yeah seeds are at trichoceros.net this will go into the 2023 harvest like coming probably around I don't know September, October, something like that.